Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Masanda Wana Fan Vlog. Uh, we last saw you when we were um, we were talking about transfer policies, and then before that there was a uh, Piso 2024, and then uh, it seems as if uh, Piso 2024 rollout is not complete. Uh, <laughs> and Coach uh, Mukona is back uh, from his spell at Pirates. Uh, I'm not gonna make much of his spell at Shiba United. He was still at Pirates because it's their affiliate club anyway. Could could, could take cheaper to the to the MDC and they could place the MDC team. <laughs> so yeah, uh, was announced yesterday that uh, he's back. Mm, some people are saying it was the worst kept secret, but uh, no one was reporting about it until yesterday. And he was announced yesterday, so I think it was a mm -hmm. secret. Uh, I, maybe I, 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 with the exception of Kush Pito and some people at Sundowns. So, yeah. And maybe you uh, and yourself. Uh, let's skip that part. <laughs> so, yeah, just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But yes, uh, it's, it's the usual uh, vlog, boys. Uh, unfortunately, you guys have to deal with us. Uh, every time there's a new upload, you have to see us. But at least we bring uh, a few new faces. Uh, and first time on Masanda Wana Fan Vlog, it's Bonganim uh, Tombe. We all know him as Lucky Tombe on Twitter. The guy who runs uh, uh, Disky Rambo. Yeah, that keeps uh, dribbling to when they come up with the quizzes. I've forever dribbled. <laughs> <With his kingdom. laughs> but, yeah, uh, and we, we also have uh, our our in-house Rasta. He just woke up mm. and he was trolling people until four in the morning. Sure, <laughs> 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 gents, Lumnat. Sure, boy. Lumnat, Lumnat, Lumnat. Yeah, uh, Lumnat. Yeah, uh, I think we'll we'll start with you, Lucky, since uh, you were a first timer on Masanda Wana Fan Vlog, and then we'll come with Obi after. Um, First things first, how's, how's this Kirimbul doing since uh, you started it uh, a few months ago? Uh, man, uh, I think I think the response has been has been overwhelming. You know, um, the the only thing which is lacking is, is is the consistency from my side and 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 the content. But so far so good, and I'm actually happy. I'm happy with it. Yeah, no, we we happy to have uh, such platforms. Uh, the only way we get to grow that space uh, for South African football uh, by having more. So yeah, so yeah, man. Uh, your thoughts on Coach Rene coming back to Sundowns? <laughs> well, what can I say? Uh, you know, the the excitement is too much. Uh, the excitement is too much. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I think uh, it, it, it's something which. Uh, most of us have been waiting for for a very long time and to see such a move finally happening and then we know that uh, a lot of good, a lot of good things are going to happen and i don't know man uh, i don't know but to be to be honest with you i'm actually quite excited about it and i just can't wait for the next four years and what's going to happen at the club yeah uh working car <clears throat> yeah um it didn't come as a shock uh i think for most of us or for most of people because there were a bit of memories from fans from people who are close to rulan in terms of like relationships so uh we had prepared a bit <laughs> like you know abo swazi would, would would sprinkle an indirect thing bobo bokangs you know then all those people who have communicated with them at Springle there and they saw there's something um I was expecting that is a possibility to happen. So there was a bit a lot of excitement that came with it uh, when it was uh, announced on that day. I think the excitement was way more than I anticipated that it would be. Um so yesterday was was a bit of fun in terms of how yeah how he was announced, um how the reaction from the fans, from everyone involved. So I think we are in for a nice four years with no belief. Oh, um, look. Now all I can say is that the, the technical team that got us to the pinnacle of world football, world football, Club World Cup is back together. Uh, and 
um man how how can you not be excited as a fan i mean uh there's, there's so much to talk about but this is just first thoughts right and i can go back to so many things uh he's, he, when he was there when he was not there and how 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 this is all going to be like it's all going to come together and i think i think man as, as oba king said yesterday like this project is gigantic like it's 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 really gigantic this project but i i really can't wait uh, i'm excited um yeah i'm all i'm saying all, all i'm gonna say now is that i'm excited last but not least <laughs> <laughs> oh wow 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 um obviously like uh obi said um there were little whispers a couple of months ago that this might happen but but i like I I I I didn't believe it. I thought um but uh this can't happen like the 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 dream team can I know that you can dismantle a dream team and then put it together again uh, put it together again uh, after three years. It it it's fairy tale stuff. It just don't it, it just doesn't happen. But as as after he resigned the cheaper and then there was momentum to do story he started believing started dreaming again and obviously obviously uh as well documented that um uh we didn't see or oh, i didn't see i to i with him obviously he doesn't know that i exist but i didn't see i to i with him um for obvious reasons like um uh, after after he left uh sundowns things were cool and then things happened at pirates things were said and at one point it was a bit uh not nice to say the least but um like he said last week on pro plan this instagram uh, chat with him hurt people hurt people and that made a whole lot of sense to me like on both parties uh some of the supporters were uh, were hurt he was hurt i don't know he was hurt maybe but yeah he'll speak for himself but uh um, okay i'm going around in circles but yeah it's it's it's, it's an emotional uh, return for the prodigal son as they said and i'm i'm i'm, I'm very excited like every son on support he will definitely add value to already um competent technical team the best on the continent he'll add to that definitely add value I, yeah, no. Like uh, uh, you even jumped into it like, because I want my next. So, point was, yeah, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, boy. My my next point was uh, was uh, no, November twenty eighteen. Like, uh, does it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and, I know a lot of people. A lot. Of, a lot was said about it yesterday on Twitter that uh, people were saying he disrespected some downs, this and that. Maybe I, I don't know. I I didn't want this to start like on a bad note, but maybe like mm-hmm. we have to address the elephant in the room. Mm-hmm. Did, did he disrespond? Oh, no. Um, at the time, like not about to say, I thought he did, but you explained like you explained not to me, but it was in a tweet that in in competitiveness, competitiveness, there's no disrespect. At that at at that time, he was he was pirate fully and. They were gunning for our title. To me and to a lot of some non supporters, it looked disrespectful. It, it, it at, at the time it happened, and to add what the whole Bongani Zungu saga, it added, it compounded on that day, and that day was 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 mad explosive. And him, me seeing him do that, and with the Bongani Zungu stuff, and at the time uh, Ken's boy it it, it it looked very very disrespect- disrespectful but you later explain you know with time and hindsight everything makes sense you explain if 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 put yourself in his shoes if you if you know you're coaching him and um did you you know you're only friendly only you know like you are buddy buddy with the other team or do you want to be competitive you want to, you want to show that you left for years and you want to better the best team So at the time, yes, it looked disrespectful. But over time, you 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 made you you made you made sense, boy. I I I must say, in sport, that's what happens. I don't personally agree with what Trudeau was saying, man. The, the whole thing was, when I look at it now, is uh, you you look at them and they they were eleventh before he came. Like they finished eleventh uh, before that that technical team came. Yeah, him and me too. And 
now they're they're coming up the log, they are second and these all this drama what's ours <laughs> like that, that that just shows the value that he him and Michu added and, and I'm saying him and Michu because I don't want to sound disrespectful and add into but that's you, you see who they these they, they, that, that's a proper man football coach and they, they, they were coming for everything so one it was frustrating it was very frustrating it was it was scary uh, and then two all of that and also as he he also said on on the live on instagram live the other day is that you you, you do anything he he would personally do anything to protect coach pizzo like coach pizzo would do for him and that's how we felt that we were doing at the time as fans like because the, the, the it started with the tweets and then from from Bogani Zungu and then the day happened and then the, the, and the interviews on, on on the host man it was it was just a mess but it's all in the past now I, I wanted to say that you know with this the situation was was annoying at first but uh, it, it's just the nature of the game and it's just so unfortunate that things had to turn out the way that they did. But if you look at Mukwena's situation and compare it with Pito Msimani, somehow, somehow they are similar. Because you go back to the Super Sport United days and you remember just how much Pito Msimani used to taunt uh, Sundowns as a club and the fans as well. So... Now, the difference is that you have someone who comes straight from Sundowns and goes to a team like Pirates. And you know that people used to think that um, we were successful because of him. And towards the build-up of the game, the fans from, from the Sounders camp, the fans from the Pirates camp, you know, everyone was saying, no, but Bulani is the reason that uh, Peter Msimani is where he is at Sundowns and all of those things. And people became frustrated. And that is why the reaction from the fans was as it was. But another thing that you have, you have to, to understand as a fan is that uh, you, you cannot go into a match as a coach and, you know, receive such treatment and people expect you to keep quiet. You know, so these are things which can be forgiven in a sense that it's a football game and Emotions have to be invested at the end of the day. And yeah, that's all I can say. Mukaro. Yeah, I think, yeah, also, you know, for me, like, if, if it happened in isolation to the tweets of Bongani Zung, I think it, it, it wouldn't have been like what happened on that day of the match of at Loftus and so forth. If it happened in isolation of the tweet, uh, it wouldn't be that much of a big deal because I think Bo Rulan and the technical team Rolando knows protocol of sundowns in and out. So they probably say, what can we use to like, you know, make it a bit more uh, uh, competitive or cagey for them? It was, it, was, it was all mind games. It was all mind games. Mind games, exactly. Yeah, you understand? So that, that for me would have made sense. People want to just, you know, shake up the, the room before the match begins. But I think the tweets, we, were, we already, we came in very defensive. Which was which is which is which was our right as well because it was expected because we're defending our coach as well. So that happening along with with that thing now we need man games go out the way because now it's like so it, it, it almost went into that direction as well. So yeah, for me, you know, the two are, are separate to me. Like the Bongani tweets were a lot of were a bit more disrespectful then. What happened on the on on the day? The Bongani tweets were the ones that really bothered me a lot because this is a player who was at the club, you know. And then now, you know, the way he spoke. But the, the what happened on the match? That one for me was more of a, a, a team Sundance and Pirates mind games against each other. So that that for me was more fine than what Bongani did. And the, and the fact that Pirates Pirates and Sundance. That game is not just any other game. Like mm-hmm. that game is <laughs> that game has five. And remember, as I said, guys, the the previous season was the 2017-18 season. They came within five points of us, and then mm-hmm. now in the 2018-19 season, they're coming on our pitch on the back of these tweets 
And, you know, there's that thing at the gate. I mean, come on, guys. Football has a badminton. There's emotions to it, you know? There's a lot like, of emotions. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of emotions. <laughs> yeah. hey, Ken, your, your thoughts, Rena, about the whole thing? Nah, uh, about the, the whole thing is that... Uh, okay, let me give you this example. When I, when I used to play basketball, I would travel like, to go play games for tax. Like, Neo, like Neo is a, was a, one of the most well known basketball players in the country. Otaka Siaga, and I, I, I know him, he was the captain of the AC national team. We would go play the game, like, in a, I, I didn't have a car by then, so like we would drive in his car, really two, like not, no one else, really two, go to games, and then I would get there, play for uh, Tony Phantoms, and then he would play for, uh, for Tags. Boy, he would elbow me in the game. It would be like and then when the referee goes the game is over and then we continue as normal so i think another one thing like i i, I understood obviously it may, it, i i understood the situation because of uh my personal relationship with rulani like i can't get that out of the way but yeah your night made it easier but now when when it comes to Ntwele, like he can't come there and be all buddy buddy like how Neo was saying already 2017 20, 20, 18 which is his first season co pirates we won the league and uh, they did well Libor, and they came second and then that season remote lady go orlando and on supporters remote lady call of tasi it was all good but because they got so close they were they started smelling blood so the following yeah. season, the first game against Paris the following season, that happens. It's because of, uh, of course, the Bongani Zungu situation made it uh, what it was. Because it's, it's a, it's a, they played on a Tuesday, and they won, and now we played on Wednesday, I think. And yes, there was that press class. conference. And there was that press conference, and then Kushpito addressed it, and then like he went at length, Kayon. And then there was mm. also this thing, you know, Hafez Otamaya, people were saying oh, he was the brains behind Sundowns yeah. in game. And then there was that Zungu tweet. Then even Keegan Dolly came and said, hey, nah, don't put me there. Like, <laughs> I respect Kushbito. And Kushbito brought back the articles that kick off of what Zungu was talking about. Or Kushbito did this for him, did this for him. And then, because of Leanna, for personal relationship, yeah, I lay Kosh Rulani and wanting Kosh Rulani to be a success. I think he got too excited. Bungani Zungu, he he does get excited. It's more social media. Even now, he gets too excited because I don't know. We haven't said anything about Hashim Domingo, but he addressed it. You want to? So I think Kujulani. Then, like, if you go to another team, boy, you you want to you he fully invests fully invested in something pirates. He wants to bring back the and it's a players. team he grew up supporting. And it's a team he grew up supporting. His, uh, His family for the team. His uncle is a legend for that team. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it's co- it's com- it's competitive nature. But I think think I think things got out of hand. And uh, Leena, I I know for for a fact some of the things the idea thing more white hole more especially that part where he did this to the fans and it's all. When he was egging them mm. on, I think that was that was out of line. Emotion. Yes. So, the thing is, it's 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 it's, it's like this guy boy. Like he he came to sign. Like he was promoted to the first team in his twenties. Like what the whole? Like he's gonna grow, and then some of these things will probably be written in a book. I will like that on one tour because. Mm. I did, man. Yeah, like that thing you and I was very unfortunate. That's why night didn't even myself because you said in to put a video date or now as a robot. I don't want to go to my house. I'm a dresser. Video date to get a robot offline. That's not what dress I'm doing. Yeah, but yeah, but I'm glad we got to address this, this part daily before we go to. All the, yeah. the, the nice things we want to talk about, but yeah, it's, that was very unfortunate. But we had to address it because we can't just we, sweep it under the rug. We all learn, boy. He learns, we learn, mm. and we move on. Yeah. Okay, so guys, yeah, uh, 
yeah we are we are done with with, with the past and now we are moving to 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 the future uh, i mean um uh, Pizzo 2024 is a gigantic project <laughs> but the one and only <laughs> <laughs> so so now gents looking forward to to looking into the future now um do, do you guys think we are getting a a, a better rulani like a, a more polished rulani back as our second assistant i mean you go to be a head coach of uh you go to be an assistant for pirates and then you become a head coach and then it doesn't work out and then you come back to be a second assistant like that's unheard of and i think it tells you of the level of um uh, coach pito and uh mamelody sundowns for uh, a, a coach to come back and still be a second assistant and uh i, I mean I, I don't think it's a lot of coaches that could that could do that but we've we've seen it internationally being done by the likes of carlos quirish leaving and going to coach madrid like uh arguably the biggest team in the world or one of the biggest teams in the world and then if it doesn't work out come back and be an assistant uh at man united uh i posted a, a link for for an article about uh pep linders he's a young coach a young dutch coach who's a who was second assistant to jürgen klopp at liverpool went to coach uh, his boyhood club uh i think it's here in Evan in, uh, in the netherlands and then come back to be an assistant at liverpool again so in terms of mohai it, it, it's not the norm but it's it's being done yeah. internationally and do you do you think it's it, it's it's a gain for us look uh for me as you said the second example that you looked uh, that you that you spoke about pep pep linders i don't know how to pronounce his name but i'll just yeah. call linders yeah. uh he that's that's this situation for me uh he left uh, went to his boyhood club uh, his childhood club go to, uh, and went to uh, be a head coach and he after some time came back Liverpool won the Champions League and now they're English champions. I, I, I see I see nothing else happening than exactly that story in the, in, in this situation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like I said yesterday on my tweet, and people think I'm trolling. Next season, next season, we are winning maybe the league in the Champions League and then following season, Alex, Tata Zong, I'm going to comment on that tweet, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, <laughs> MTN 8 like yeah. president <laughs> 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 um well i think i think i think it's a good it's a good move for us um and at the same time it's not like he went to pirates and and chipa and all and 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 that and he just didn't add any any value to to their teams you know so for us um the I, i i think for me it's okay it's okay as long as age is still on his side he can still learn a whole lot of things and well he's under the tutelage of pitom simani and mangobam anyway so there's no rush you know but i think we uh, sundowns now as a club we have a complete technical team and we we haven't been complete for almost two or three seasons you know yes. and at the same time it it, it actually allows us to, to 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 say you have coach Wendell Robinson you have coach Ulan you have coach Mangoba you have you know so like you're going to have a lot of people bou- bouncing around ideas compared to uh this season and, and the previous seasons so i think in 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 in, in a case of personnel wise we we are okay we are sorted and we are finally complete and i don't think anyone will still compete with us going going into you know the four years that um we we talking about yeah i don't know as uh, so, yeah, i was i was about to say adding what to what um like you said um it's interesting that uh, that void hasn't been filled for those three years. Like, yes, Coach Wendell has been sitting on the bench with uh, Coach Pizza and Coach Mangoba, but, but we haven't, he's, he, he, we, have, we haven't replaced Rulani, and him coming back there, he'll, he'll, he'll add a whole lot of value 
three years for a guy like Ronaldo is a long time. You will have learned. He made friends with Liverpool, by the way. Like he yeah. he can call he can call like on club when when Coach Peter calls Pep Guardiola he can call you on club. I can compare notes. I'm sure in the past three years he's learned learned so 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 much and ima- ima- imagine this technical team, James. And I'm not talking about um the rest of the brilliant back back on stuff. I'm talking about Coach Peter, Coach Mangoba, Coach Rulani, Coach Gulam, Coach Musi, Coach Mario. That's that's. The the uh, the football brains that are there, gentlemen. It's coaches, the conversations. Uh, it's 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 you know, it's on another level. Like we are now competing, like Nell said, on the world stage. Forget South Africa for for a bit, gents. We are mm. we are up there. Like it's 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 crazy. He'll, would, he'll add a whole lot. You wouldn't say at one point Ian Goro was our head coach. <laughs> 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 Looking at the uh, brain trust, that is, that is at the helm right now. You, oh yeah. yeah. You remember? Yeah. You remember the days where Ian Goro was our coach, getting bet at Orlando, and Zayas is nine a hundred. That days. That days. <laughs> We've seen it all. Yes, and and I, I, and I was also I was also about to say that, um, uh, alluding to the reference we made with. Uh, the Liverpool assistant coach, Pep Blinders, uh, going back to his boyhood club and then coming back. You know, he said something in the, in the article that I was reading on The Athletic. He said, now he understands more like what coaches go through. He thought he knew when he was looking at club on a daily basis. But now he's more sympathetic to head coaches for the things that they go through. And he understands because he was in those shoes. And I think, and I, I was talking to Neo Gere. People always make this uh, statement, Yahore, why Coach Mangova doesn't go out to do, um, to be a head coach himself. And uh, it, Leonel Nahani, he's been there, like he's been at Amazulu, he's been at Chipa, where he was fired like he was nothing. Granted, Arose, that's where he really made a name for himself. And then now, when he gets to work with Coach Pito, he understands the things Coach Pizzo goes through. He understands uh, uh, the type of uh, 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 hits he has to take for them because n- no one expects an assistant coach to go talk to the media. How first should you have not to give blue face and shit? No one says anything. Once or other, like, yeah. you are the man that has to account. You are the one who has to account to the board. You have the Coach Pizzo once made an example already. Coaches, we are sort of CEOs where so and some CEOs they have they have to account for financial year end. I don't know, my financial year end is 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 in ninety minutes. Every after ninety minutes, I must go across to, to the supporters there. Uh, hey game if I must go across the field or turn back and account to these people after ninety minutes. That's my financial year end. So those things are things that coaches have to think about and go through. And then but now I, I, I wanted to to I wanted us to talk about this, gents. Uh, what does Coach Rulani, the dynamic that maybe we have been missing that he brings back, and mm. how how you you see how players relate to him? Percy has always related to Coach Rulani because Batabo worked from the Cape Cup. It doesn't yeah. start with the first team because I know people will say Coach Coach Rulani has been at Sundown since 2014, but he was there since 2011, like development side and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Bo 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 Kigen Doli, bo bo Tembazwane, bo Rulane, bo bo Tompo. Like even after when we we won Go Orlando, remember when Tompo was substituted off, he went to give him a hug on the opposing bench and came back mm. to our bench. It shows you the type of relationship he has with the players. And I was saying to Neo Gere, Coach Pito and Coach Mangova are more father figures in the team, and they are the ones who do one So sometimes players can relate to them in on, 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 on a certain level because they are yeah. the ones who are more demanding to them and whatnot. You can relate more to your older brother, but you can relate the way you would relate to your older brother to your uh, to your dad. So that dynamic, let's talk about that type of dynamic or like what does he bring now? It wasn't there for the past three years since he hasn't been on the Sundowns bench. Uh, in terms of the player relations? Um, So I think also 
um, for me, Rulan is very young uh, in terms of age. He's very, very young. And when you compare to uh, Mangoba and Pito, um, they've been in the game for a, a, a while, a while. So I can I can see it as a, you know, when Mangoba and, and Pito are more focused on, you know, this is where we need to go. I, they can use Rulane for a, a lot of things as well. Is it okay? We want you to be more in touch with the players, the relationship, because someone who's been in development level, the relationship between you and the players are much more intimate uh, because, you know, you are you are doing a lot there at the at, at a younger stage. Now, when you're at a big club and as a coach, you're dealing with a lot of big personalities in the club. It's hard to trickle down and have these personal relationship with a lot of players, new players, promoted players. And Rodana brings that element on a personal level. Uh, mm. I can see, you know, Rodana as, as a coach, players can clown, not clown in the sense of, but uh, text with, be more freely open, open more to to him because, you know, the age is, is not much of a difference, yeah. um, you know, but... Yeah. When you go to Pito, you feel like you're going to a father. You know, you feel like it's more, you know. And Rolana brings that element on a football side, on a personal level, for mm. someone that even the technical team can use to sort of understand, like the other players deeper, much deeper. And that's the element I think that is gonna. That's I think that's maybe probably been missing the past the past few years. And Rolana just slots in and bring that nicely to the team. Mm. Uh, um, we kind of go before you, you know, as Obili can uh, you know, who's a player I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of right now who, 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 who needs a sh- uh, an arm around the shoulder? Mm. Mm. Like, Kushurani mm. would be so perfect, uh, taking him up and and you know, Jenny's con- I'm not saying Kushpito can't do that, but yes. like you said, he, he has the relation. Exactly, like um, like how he did. Obviously, his his, his relationship with Priscilla Bongani is well documented. Yeah. Like I feel like someone like 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 Lebo Mabo would 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 thrive under um, uh, guidance or tutelage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. No. Yeah. Uh, I agree with all three of you, and um. One thing that makes me look, and this is hindsight, Owen, and hindsight is always the, and I, I'm sorry to to mention this because I'm very sorry on this topic. And as you said, when uh, him being young and uh, players being able to, like him being like a brother, rather, obviously you you will you will relate more to your siblings than your parents because your parents give a mula, right? Yeah. As, as you say, so. And in hindsight, I look at those Bongani Zungu tweets, and maybe it didn't mean harm at the time. Like, I can't refer to this topic, but maybe it didn't mean harm, but he just meant, felt that at the time, or he, yeah, not at the time, he felt, or this guy changed my game. And uh, it, it, it was more because of, I think it was more because of what we are speaking about now, or like when you have a brother rather than a parent, Iban Gare. Like you, you, you can relate more to your brother because his ways are more soft. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Lucky. No, I, I, you know, as 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 the announcement was made uh, yesterday, ne, I, I was thinking to myself that Sundowns are in the process of building a new and and young team, and when you go about doing such, you need uh, a, someone who's technically competent. Uh, articulate and has uh, well the the good enough social skills to 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 drive through the the culture of the team to to the young players, you know. And his input in in this particular case has to be um, in in a sense, yeah, uh, developing talent. And we're saying developing talent in a sense that you know age is a factor for Hulan and. Uh, we have a lot of young players who are from our academy. And funny enough, the players that are there are players who actually grew up under Hulan. Because if if you go back to the 20, uh, 2013 KMT Cup, there was his squad. The, the first MTC squad is almost the same squad as the KMT squad, you know? Mm-hmm. 
and you now have someone who has an experience of developing players you now have someone who has almost the same attributes even though he's a coach but you know he has the same attributes and can relate to 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 the younger players in the team you know and you actually need that you actually need that if you want to build a a young team and and yeah it it actually makes things to be a lot more interesting for us you know yeah yeah and I, i think also it's a it's a generation is a generational thing i mean uh coach mangova and uh coach pizzo are probably from the same school of thought and uh, the same school of doing things and uh sometimes maybe they might meet well but their approach might not be an approach of someone who is from the same school and the same generation as these other guys because what coach rulane like I mean even like a small thing like technology like it looks about I mean mm-hmm. uh, that's why you have like Bokuch Musi like who's also young yeah. and uh, it, it I think it also makes it so much easier to gel all those things and another thing is that uh, the one thing we always joke about Hori Coach Lan is actually a technocrat and uh, like he's the new school of coaching yeah. mm-hmm. yes so, yeah you know what I mean you need those things like old school coaches like with Jose Mourinho when he came to Tottenham he had to fetch a technocrat from uh is it Leon Leon yes mm-hmm. like he fetched a young guy who's like a technocrat they are that this new generation if following like the philosophy of you and cry have like and they look up to go Pep Guardiola and they look up to you can talk about yes. again, again pressing little tiki taka or what the game model mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. so yeah mm-hmm. verticality little <laughs> 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 yeah it's like what is that yeah it's like what is that little tista or what the invented the invented full bags so yeah. this, i think those things like bringing in these coaches who a more a much uh, like they, they they from the school of thought of like being brave and playing a certain way or on so on because uh, I, I i get it man it's it, it also goes to to it it it, it it's telling hoka level how pirates were playing like the the past three seasons and then how they were playing uh, when rulani was there they were not as rigid as that micho team because the he was trying new things like the world was this oyster already back three the three man money the wing bag organized chaos like, organized chaos wabona. like those things might have good intentions but might not give you the results so i think merging that type of uh thinking in terms of coaching and merging the old school way Remember when Kush Pizza was doing the Insta live with DJ Naves and we said Naves must ask him for what's his favorite formation oh, because <laughs> and now we always say 4231 or 4222 and Kush Pizza was like I'm here play 4-4-2 we have all these exciting stuff uh, and at the end of the day we have a a a, a shrewd tactician at at the helm or exactly. and uh, magic the experience of saying as coach ranu was saying who is the experience of saying romo right one right one you know that yeah. experience of saying that so i mean it's so exciting guys can i can i can i can i go off 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 path a bit um yes. remember um we were talking about how um uh, we don't play as expensive as we used to be uh well we had the, uh, the super team and coach pito always says or he's, he's he's pragmatic like he he, he takes a one nil and pro shop or or oh he's like he likes to say i know when to turn up the volume and now i know when to turn down the volume and most yeah. of the time he turns down the volume mm-hmm. i wonder with 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 i always you but like last mo 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 he's live with the pro he said he's pragmatic coach lad but i always you run as 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 a coach that 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 as in the local level his pirates team they were all attack but they did 4-4 3-3 2-2 4-2 like as as an expensive coach. i wonder if you bring that element back to bitomisimani and 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 the current sundowns team 
I just thought like it's a thought that okay, Coach Pito loves not loves, he is pragmatic and Coach Ran is that I wonder when you combine the two, won't we have the same results as the super team? When you combine the three. The three, sorry, just the three. <laughs> but I think it also goes with how the uh, character of Coach Mano. That guy is so quiet that sometimes you don't even talk about like, it. Exactly. Exactly. If you were to ask if you were to ask a Sundowns fan walking in the street, Dory, according to you, what is the one thing that Coach Mangova brings? I doubt anyone would nail it to the team. Dory. <laughs> this is what this guy does. Like I yeah. love I love those silent workers. Like he's just he's there and he does his job so well. But sometimes you're like, I wonder what he really does, mm. like in terms mm. of uh but I, I love the dynamic, yeah, Coach Pizzo, who's like Coach Bizo would walk in the room and not say anything, but the the room lights up and like his character mm. and Agobian and his persona is so loud. And uh, <laughs> Rulani is young and give out the game model and then and then Coach Mangova, you can't pin him down. Mara it was because of him. So yeah, so but to be honest, I think it's just exciting for everyone like to to have I think what excites us more is not actually like what Kush Rulani brings as an individual, but what excites us more combination. is that combination that brought us so many trophies. That brought us yeah. continental mm-hmm. glory. That took the club to the Club World Cup. I think it's that thing, Yahuri. You know, you put the last stone. And, uh, 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 oh, we could put on for reference here, Thanos. Uh, Infinity Stone. <laughs> the last stone into the country. <laughs> One Sarah, it's like, <clears throat> which one is like, it's like that last Infinity Stone. Like, yeah, was missing. And then now it's back. And, I think that's the one thing that brings so much excitement. And someone asked me, uh, mm-hmm. why are we so excited for Coach Rulani? And we even made a video. And, and I thought to myself, even if it was Coach Mangova who had gone, Atamaya, Abuwa, we would have made the same video. The same video. <laughs> <laughs> we would have made the same video. But yeah, guys, I think for uh, maybe like uh, it, to close, uh, I think let's just touch on. Um, what it means for Coach Rani coming back for the likes of Promise Mukuma, Bo, Isha who've played with him. Uh, it's, it's rumored that uh, either Mudise or Keegan Allen uh, yeah, might be is getting promoted. We send the. It's also rumored that we send the young boy from Real Kings, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. and, yeah, all these young players. Uh, do, uh, uh, are they the biggest winners in Coach Rani coming back? Are they the biggest winners? Le Grant is not that old. Oh, yes. I even forget, I for, for, forget yeah. Grant Mangaman. Not even that. just them, boy. Also, those, as, as like you were saying, except like Grant Mangaman, just now, uh, even those boys who are younger than 25 that were mm-hmm. part of that NBC team, Ella. Mm-hmm. I think they'll gain a lot. They'll gain a lot. In, and, and they'll gain a lot in terms of not because the other people weren't good enough. Obviously, I can never say that. But in terms of like that relationship dynamic in the uh, feeling like a, a younger person I can relate to is working with me. It's, it's just the human element. I don't know. It's, it's just there. But yeah, also those both, both, Madisha was on the rise. Madisha will be Van Dyke in two years' time. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, Madisha has always been on the rise. But, 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 uh, bless her. I think he'll, he'll, they'll, they'll benefit from that. Um, it's, 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 as I say the, the boys that are going to be promoted fairly, uh, also these younger boys, but I think of his team already. Well, also, uh, I think. Yeah, no, but, uh, but yes, my question was are they the biggest winners it, for all those younger boys or the ones that still have a lot to prove? Uh, yeah. uh, are they the biggest winners? Uh, 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 separate like those boys. Lebo Jali was from the ones who've done it and won. What anele? That's what I was asking for. Like, are these boys like the biggest winners from Kulele coming back? Yes, uh, them, them, uh, them, and obviously the project itself. Mm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, it's exciting times ahead, guys. And uh, yeah, I, I, I give like uh, any any last words uh, over again. Yeah, Ken. I think also for me, I think the the project is the bigger the biggest winner. Uh, the end product for me is the the biggest winner because Rulana's work in terms of those young boys contributes to how the team, you know, that, that 2016 team that had both Zungu uh, in the middle, that, that's, that's the end product you see for people who have been working with these players in the background mm. and people who have been, had those relationships with those players. And even yesterday, because you must understand, Rulane, it's not like Rulane didn't have in, anywhere to go. Uh, we, for me, it's sort of like getting someone who could have walked into other PSL teams and 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 and, and was the head coach. It's sort of like stealing that person uh, with three years' experience of coaching Orlando Pirates. He was not head coach of a small team with, you know, with with with, with no pressure of results. He was head coach of Pirates when Mitchell left. He was part of. Micho, the experience he gained also from Micho, because Micho is a is a very the big, big coach. The experience, the yeah, exactly. The experience he gained from Micho as well, he brings it to to this project as well. And the end product of that, you you will see it in 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 two years' time. You will see it when the team now has settled. And for me, that's the most exciting exciting part about it. You know, he will tame a bit of Peter's pragmatism. You know, sometimes you know he will. That, that flavor where you were mentioning, you will edit that flavor and you will see it, you know. And that's why I like, I used, when I used to call, you know, Vilani a YouTube coach, it's not YouTube in that sense, but it's more of the, you know, the new age generation of technology. You know, using, people are using, you know, this, like, like the technology behind, you know, the, the, the analytics, the technology behind the language, yeah, the, yeah. you know, all these all these new things are what's new in football now. That's the new trend, you know. Mm. Uh, and that helps you in taking it a step further. It, you know, that, that helps you in us. We know CAF, quarterfinal, semifinal, it gives us that, that push a bit. So um, I think the, we won more than anyone else because we got a coach that could have went to a PSL club. We got someone who could have went anywhere else. And he's in our team. He's now part of the technical team with Coach Peter, so ah, it's gonna be very difficult for anyone to to chase us. Yeah, uh, lucky last words. Well, I, I I think you know there's there's one player we we didn't mention there, eh? and I think someone like Pagamani Masambi will actually come out better. And, uh, you know, under the leadership of Fulan. And, you know, we will always use the, the likes of Bungani Zungu and, and, and Pesita with case studies, you know. Because now you have someone who's going to to look at, 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 at your weaknesses, your strengths, and they, they, they will actually be willing to stay behind and work with you on that, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that is something we have been lacking as, as, as a club in the, in the past three years, you know. Having yes, we understand that we have we have we have a very very good technical team, you know. But we, you, you want someone who's going to be hands on, you know. You want someone who's going to be hands on. And if you remember Bongani, Bongani Zungu's transformation, you remember who who was hands on in that particular case, you know, who stayed behind you know, the positioning, collecting the ball, the shooting, everything, you know, and. Rulani, Rulani was, 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 was the main behind that particular, you know, transformation. And in this particular case, I just want to see what's going to happen, you know, to the likes of uh, Mahalwa, uh, Mahlambi, on top of the potential that they have. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, know, guys, uh, these are exciting times, uh, for real, for real, for real. And uh, <laughs> When Coach Peter said uh, uh, to names to DJ names on that live, when he said you must look out for next season's team, uh, it's gonna be a. Super- That's a joke. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, I tweeted, I tweeted that it's not only playing personnel, even the technical team is getting beefed up. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 how 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 big 
it might be for us that we're having for the run-in for those last couple of six, eight games. How, how massive could, could that be? How massive could that be? <laughs> yeah, and our first, game, our first game back is against Pirates, so it'll be very interesting. <laughs> I think it's actually a good thing for him that there won't be any supporters that will be playing behind the <laughs> so, wow. There won't be that added element, but boy, am I looking forward to next season. First yeah. speech, Pirates and Downs, once. Yeah, but I, 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 I don't know. Like I've, I've never seen um, uh, uh, such a year. I think it's because maybe he's such a young, promising coach. I've never seen like uh, an assistant coach like who's been talked about so much. Like. <laughs> it's it, it it it's so much. It, it, like it, it, he adds such a crazy element because like when he went to Pirates, it was so emotionally charged uh, to the Sundowns fans. Now he's back at Sundowns. Like I would just wonder how Pirates fans are gonna be when we go to Orlando Stadium and we smack them. The stadium. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I see. But, I see. We have. We have yeah, we have two minutes, two about two minutes left here, and I yeah. I came across a tweet here, but Ayatasaki here, and I. On 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 Bezos to on Bezos comment on the vlogs video. Yeah. Uh, so our uh, strategist, implementer, executor, educator, father, brother, delegator, leader, motivator, achiever, executor, yeah. fi- fighter, misunderstood by f- by a few, understood by many. Maybe. If Ubuntu was a person, yeah. If Ubuntu was a person, you are you are that person. You are God sent to many of us. I appreciate you. I mean, really. <laughs> so, so, so the, 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 you can tell even within the camp, there's this is this excitement. There's excitement, mm. and, and uh, this this project obviously this project comes with huge responsibility uh, mm. with all, to all the people that are that are in 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 involved in this project and then obviously like it's gonna need sacrifice and it's gonna need uh you know it, it comes with huge expectation as well yeah and, uh, and, and uh, I, li- I love the 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 foundation that this team is 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 built on this new project is reignited by our our biggest signing in years yeah, the signing now is our biggest, yeah. biggest, biggest signing. So these next four years is oh, going yes. to be something else. Arigwan, yeah. you're less than a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so, so yeah. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I, I, I hope we didn't offend anyone with anything that we said. Uh, I hope we didn't overstate uh, Coach uh, Rulane's. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, influence or coming influence yeah. to the team i hope we didn't undermine anyone's contribution uh, i think we're just excited fans and we just wanted to put together something to say like what does this mean going forward uh, for the bizo 2024 project i think it, 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 it i hope it doesn't come out um uh, as as us overstating him or underplaying other people's contributions because they are there and nothing is said because I hope it doesn't come out as Honyaza anyone. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Lucky and uh, Overking. Looking forward to more. Sure, sure. sure. Thank you. Thank you.